Now welcome back to another episode. We are in Montclair Sweet Tea Soul Food. Got the homie here. It looked like a rap video, all right? <laughs> this is dope. Stay tuned. We here, uh, Sweet Tea Southern Eatery. It's really nice in here. I love it. The chandeliers, the pillow, um, but ultimately it comes down to the food. So let's check it out. So I'm in like a uh, fish eating mood. So they got something called Grandma Sarah Boobies Crispy Catfish with a choice of two sides. And then while I'm here, I think I'm gonna do some, uh, some chicken. You know, I want some chicken too. Um, I might do chicken and waffles, but I definitely want to try the cornbread. How's the food here? She she pulled up on me. She's like, you look familiar. I like the food here. Uh, we've been coming here for a while, and the food is really good. Right what here. did you get? What did you get, though? Um, I got the stuffing, which is really, really good. How did I get that? Cheese, stuffing, the turkey stuffing, mac and cheese, and fried chicken. Hi to my baby, Clyde dear, and hi to all my Sierra House people and my family. So cheers to y'all. Make sure y'all subscribe. Sweet Teas in Montclair. Southern hospitality. Oh. That ain't no, that ain't no regular Sweet Tea, baby. What is it about Sweet Tea that it's only cold where the ice cubes is at? You ever notice that? But if, you, if the bottom be like warm, so you have to like mix it up. What is that? That'll happen with soda. No, nah, it's just the dynamic of the uh, sweet tea and the osmosis of the tea leaves that raises up the, the temperature of the... Uh... <laughs> That's the catfish, smells great. Look at that batter. It's beautiful. Thank you, bro. Thank you, man. I look, I look mad greedy right now. I got, I got two plates. I got catfish. Mac and cheese, some yams. I got the fried chicken with some potato salad and some greens. I got the sauce. My man got the catfish, mac and cheese, and grits. This is the fish right here, the catfish. Good crust, really good. Nice, fluffy. And they playing some music soul child. I need some hot sauce on mine. Let me dip it in the hot sauce. Bang. Mm. You try that catfish yet? Wow. Mac and cheese. <laughs> the catfish is so good. It's so good. You know what? I never haven't had catfish in a long time, but that did not disappoint whatsoever. This is the mac and cheese. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Nice crusty top. Perfect. Cheesy, not dry. Really good flavors. But you pair it up with this catfish though. Put the hot sauce on there. Hot. Now that's mac and cheese right there, baby. Delicious. Can I get the yams too? Really good. Really good. <clears throat> yams. Mm. Ooh. You know what I noticed about these? They let the yams be yams. Like it's not covered in like all sugar. Like it gives it like the natural sweetness of the yams. Ooh. 
it's soft, it's tender. I'm, I'm enjoying the way the presentation is on this mac and cheese. Cause I don't mind like the scooping, like when you make it mac and cheese in a big pan, that's all good. But this right here seems more personable. Like a, uh, like they put it in the oven and, and just, you know what I mean? Like just add the cheese and add it right out. I'm enjoying this mac and cheese a lot, as you can tell. Love it. Here's a catfish. Flaky is delicious. What you think? Hold on. I ain't got my boy Memo. What do you think, Memo? I'm speechless. Oh, these grits right here? These grits is money. I've never had grits like this. It has... I don't know what's in it. Cheese layered, but um, it's so delicious. You just have to try it. It's different. It's different from your traditional grits. And um, I had the mac and cheese as well. That was fire. But the catfish, money. 10 out of 10, must try again. <laughs> I'm coming back here for sure. They gave you fried chicken too? Damn. They didn't give it to me. I ordered it. <laughs> you talking about give it to me. I don't get nothing. B, I earned this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, on to the next. We're doing a fried chicken platter now. Okay. So now we got the greens here. Potato salad. Three piece. Dark. Uh, we got the, the drum, the thigh, and the breast. Y'all know for me, y'all been watching the channel, dark meat is king. So let's do this again. Sweet teas. Let's go fried chicken. Uh, just so y'all know, on the menu, this this takes about 30 minutes to make. It is on the menu, so they drop it fresh. Gotta have hot sauce on my chicken too, man. Cheers. So you gotta bob and weave when you bite that chicken. You just. I'm gonna do the greens next. Mm. I love the greens. This is green look it has turkey bits in here, probably turkey neck. I love it. This is delicious. You want the chicken breast or chicken thigh? Uh, I just want like a small piece to try thigh, I guess, or, or the press. I mean, you said you like dark meat. I do. Or do you want another chicken? Or do you want another fish? Chicken thigh is king. In my household, chicken thigh is king. <sighs> Delicious. Legit fried chicken, man. Let's inspect if there's any pink to it. Any pink, no pink. Looks good. Looks like it's cooked fully. You ever go to a chicken spot and they, it's like the bone area is pink? Yeah. Yeah, that's a red flag. Potato salad's next. Mm-mm-mm. Must be like pickles in here. I got a nice tang from it. Especially the, I think there's mustard in here too. Really good. Really creamy, but it has uh, texture. I don't, know if, I don't know if that's pickles causing that crunch or not, but really good. Out of all the sides, I mean. Sides are fantastic. We all know like soul food spots, they can nail the fried chicken and the fried fish. 
Sometimes the sides are lacking here. Sides are really good. My favorite is the mac and cheese, the greens, or the yams, and the potato salad in that order. I want a little bit more sweetness from my um, potato salad. But, you know, it's good. It's good. I did order a cornbread. Cornbread didn't come out. How's the cornbread? Good. I want my cornbread. <laughs> I just want to try this out. Got the cornbread. That looks so good. This is straight up. This is that, this is that cornbread from the movie Life. <laughs> it looks good. Nice and hot too. Ooh, that's, a, that's thick. So there's a dipping sauce for the cornbread too. I don't know you know what it is. Maybe some sort of frosting? Let's try it out. Yo. This is the type of cornbread you fight over. Real rap. Mmm. You gotta try this. Corn. You can't go eat a pea. <laughs> this is the... Alright, thanks. You can put it right there. Oh my God, I'm glad I waited for this cornbread. This is so good. Not just fluffy, but the flavors. The flavors. I'm gonna say like this is the most amazing cornbread I've ever had in my life. This is a starter, but quite honestly, order this last. This is everything. It's moist. Whatever recipe they're using, bro, I need this. Whatever type of like. No, this ain't regular. Right, don't disrespect this cornbread. No, on the menu. It's called, it's called world famous cornbread? I don't know, but this is about to be world famous. So this is really that good. <laughs> Real rap. I feel like they cut the cornbread, right? And then they put a layer of butter, and then they kind of like... It seemed, it seemed like they pan fry the sides. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like when I showed y'all that, like right here, look. Like they toasted. See this? Mm. It's like toasted right here. This is the top. So does it rate? Is it a? It's the best cornbread. It it's definitely a game changer. <laughs> like I said, it's the best get, uh, cornbread I've ever had in my life. Oh, you match that with some great food too. Bro. Well, and I almost passed this up. Can you believe it? I get another order of cornbread to go. You know the order of cornbread. Yeah. Um, That strawberry butter dip is the bomb. Yeah, another order of that. Another order. Yeah. What's your what's your name again? Tonza. 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 Yeah, sweet tea. Sweet tea. I went to public school. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so you know, I'm here with the uh, owner, co-owner, co-owner, yeah. and she let us do our thing. You know what I mean? And uh, she came over just to check on us. And I had to tell her about her cornbread. It's amazing. I want I want you guys to actually see her and meet her. You know, this is not a sponsored post. She didn't ask me to come. Y'all know how I run my channel. I just show up. I eat the food. And I let her know. So say hi to everyone. Tons. Say hello. Hi, everyone. I'm Tonsa Houston. I am Sweet Tea. And thank you. I don't even know your name. JL Jupiter. Thank you so much for coming to our establishment. Seriously. Really appreciate it. And I'll tell you a little bit about the background. So, we're supposed to open up April 2020, COVID hit. Um, we opened, ended up opening January 11, 2021. Um, we just did two year anniversary last week. Um, and business has been great. It's all decorated. I know you were coming into one of the courts. It's decorated by us. This was died in my bathtub. So, it's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears went into this. And the love, as you can see, has been great. So, I really appreciate it. Can you give advice to anyone that wants to get into this field? 
Oh, wow. Be prepared to really work. I've been working since I was 13, and this is the hardest I've ever worked. But it's a labor of love. And when you, like, just like you said about loving our cornbread, I've had people say, I feel like my grandmother's in the kitchen. That's what we do it for. It's just for the love. And it just makes it, it just makes us feel great. We're also here in Montclair, which is like the Rainbow Coalition. So we have all kinds of people coming here. So we meet a lot of great people. It's a great business. Yeah, that felt like my grandma was making it with the hand of Jesus. <laughs> she was in it with Jesus making that cornbread. She put her foot in it, huh? <laughs> she put her soul into it. That was amazing. So. Thank you. Um, guys, come support this great business right here on this busy strip. Very lively. They make you feel welcome. Customer service. Thank really you. good. Thank you. Uh, kudos to them. And um, see you again. I can't wait to put you on my platform so people can come support. Thank and uh, they deserve every recognition on the walls too. So, and that cornbread is a game changer. Game changer for me is the highest honor you can give on my channel. Let you know. I was going to surprise you, but so yeah, make sure you subscribe. Sweet Teas, Montclair. I'll leave all their information in the video and in the description. See you in the next one. Peace.